okay today i'm doing a first impressions video and it's all about the new kylie jenner lip kit these were released back i think at the very end of november and i was just so excited to hear that she was releasing her lip kits and i was like do you know what i've got to get one of those so i was there on the computer refreshing when they came out and they literally sold out within i think less than a minute which is just insane um, but I managed to get one. I'm not sure how I did it, but I managed to get one, which was amazing. And I picked up the colour Candy K. It arrived literally yesterday morning, so it took quite a while to come, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on. And I thought that I would do a first impressions video. I've not tried it on yet. I don't know what it looks like. I'm not really sure what the product's going to be like. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like on. I'm going to talk about how much it costs to get to the UK. And then also, I have also raided through all my very similar matte uh, lip colours and we're going to see if we can find a little bit of a dupe because I have a feeling that we will be able to. Um, yeah, so I thought this video might be quite helpful if you're maybe thinking about getting one of the Kylie Jenner lip kits and you're not sure whether to splash out or not or if you're maybe gutted because you didn't get one, hopefully this video will be quite helpful. Also, I am aware that this video might be a little bit echoey in sound. I am filming in my kind of blogging room which is a conservatory and there's not an awful lot of furniture I do need to have a bit of a play around and I'm feeling that it's looking quite empty and it may be sound a little bit echoey so I'm really really sorry if that is the case I'll try and edit it out if I can yeah. so first of all there are a little bit of backstory you can get the Kylie lip kit it's called lip kit by Kylie um, only on her website which is by lip kit lip kitbykylie.com that is the only place where they're selling it right now it's 29 dollars which i don't think is actually too bad for a lip liner and lip gloss but what i will say is where it catches you out is the shipping to the uk and the customs okay so there's an international rate which is 13.95 dollars which works out to be nine so put together once you put together the price of the lipstick and the lip liner and the shipping it comes to around 28 29 pounds which again i don't think was actually too bad a price when you think about how much mac lipsticks cost i think a mac lipstick's about 15 quid these days and the lip liner is pretty expensive too so i don't think that was too bad for such a coveted kind of makeup item and i thought that was actually okay but there was actually a hidden charge for the UK and I wanted to obviously shout about this because it caught me out and I wasn't I did not expect this at all. So literally on Monday I had this slip come through um, which told me that I had to pay a customs charge on a package and that was going to be £11.87. So altogether well, once you include your shipping costs, the actual kit itself, and then the custom charge, it comes to £39, which I think is quite expensive because the custom charge and the shipping it actually costs basically as much as the actual lip kit itself, which kind of caught me out a little bit. So when you think about it that way, it's pretty pricey. And that's the thing that's kind of made me feel a little bit disappointed because obviously, it is a shame that it costs so much to get to the UK a lot of money so yeah so that's very disappointing but obviously that is just what happens when you have to ship stuff to the UK and hopefully if she kind of makes this into a bigger more permanent line then hopefully someone in the UK like a brand can hopefully pick it up and we can pick it up a lot easier so let's get on to the packaging this is what the box looks like it's got like this mouth. I wasn't sure about this packaging when I first saw it. I thought it may look a bit cheap and tacky, but now that I'm seeing it in real life, I think it looks pretty cool. And I think it's pretty different to anything else out there at the moment. And it's got the name on top, Candy K, and then it's obviously got this on the back, which is her signature and like this dripping. So yeah, so I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's very Kylie. It's quite Tumblr, isn't it? Um, so I think it's quite a cool kit and then I'm gonna open it and then you get the matte liquid lipstick which looks like this a little bit disappointed with the packaging I think um, I don't know I, I just think it looks a little bit I don't know I feel like these they look quite similar it doesn't really set it apart from 
anyone else. I think maybe the like this bit would have been amazing, like a metallic, you know, like a rose gold or something. I think that would look really, really cool. Or maybe something to kind of match the grill. And then this is the uh, lip liner. It's like a matte black like this. And then I quite like the look of the nib. It looks quite creamy. So that's quite, and obviously you just sharpen that. And then if you open up the lipstick, it's just a regular kind of wand. So that's what it looks like. It smells very, very sweet. And I know not everyone is a fan of kind of sweet smelling lipsticks. I love them personally. It's very, it smells like vanilla. That's, I think, yeah, that's the best way to describe it. It smells like a vanilla kind of syrup. So I'm going to pop this on. I only got some Vaseline on my lips because I feel a bit dry and I thought the last thing I want to be doing if I've got like dry lips is putting on a matte lipstick. So I am going to pop on the lip liner first. I'm probably just going to line all my lips and fill them in with the lip liner, which I think is what you're supposed to do. And then I will go in with the lip colour. So I'm going to change my lens quickly and zoom you in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Please ignore if I make a mess of this. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm probably going to be under more pressure because I'm filming this. Um, so if I make a mess, don't laugh at me too much, okay? liner all filled in and the camera is actually picking it up to look a little bit darker than what it actually is so I think I may change my camera position because I don't think it's quite in the right position um, because obviously I want to give you a true representation of the colour as much as I can. Okay and now I'm gonna add the lip colour on top. <laughs> Okay, so that's a little bit better. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's a bit darker than what I thought it would be, but I'm not actually uh, too bothered about because I was a little bit worried it was going to be too light. But yeah, it's quite a kind of dark, rosy nude. It's like drying pretty much straight away, which is quite weird. It feels quite, like, not sticky, but I can feel it drying. It was quite easy to apply. Um, my top lip is a little bit of a funny shape, which is why sometimes I go a bit wrong with the lip liner because I try to even them out and then it just goes wrong. Um, but it was pretty easy to apply both of them without making too much of a mistake and I'm sure that it would get easier with time. Like, what I'm gonna do, I will probably wear this for like the rest of the day um, and I will do a in, like big blog post about how long it lasts during food, drink, and how long it lasts day to day. This is literally just a first impressions video. But first impressions, I am pretty impressed. It's a really nice colour, which I would wear day to day anyways. It's a really nice lip liner. It's very creamy. It's very easy to use. Um, how does it feel my lips now? It kind of just feels, doesn't really feel like anything's there. It did feel a little bit sticky whilst it was drying. But now it doesn't feel like anything's on my lip at all, which is quite good. But yeah, it's a nice colour. I would definitely wear this day to day. But yeah, I'm quite impressed. I'm going to zoom you in so you can have another little look. So now we are going to get onto some dupes and hopefully we can find something for a cheaper alternative if you don't really want to have to pay all the kind of charges and stuff to get the lip kit to the UK, which I totally get. Let's start off with the actual lipstick first. This is what the swatch looks like. Can you see that? I might just turn down my light so you can see that properly. There you go, that's it. So I'm gonna try uh, this one from NYX, Abu Dhabi, and see how, no. That is too peachy. I think they're not right. Let's try Stockholm. See, that is a bit too pinky. This one is from Essence. I got this from Wilco's. Let's see if this, uh... do you know what, actually? I think I found a pretty good dupe, you know.
There you go, look at that. I think they're pretty similar, don't you? I'll put them next to each other so we can see. But I think this is the, probably the closest one. And this was something ridiculous, like £2.50, and it's actually really good as well. There's still a little bit of difference, but I think they're pretty close if you want something similar. It's not as good, like, matte drying-wise, but I think that's a pretty good shout. This is Essence XXL Long Lasting Lip Gloss Matte Version, and it's the colour 06 Soft Nude. Pick it up from Wilco's, um, see where else they stock them, but it was literally about £2.50. Okay, so that, alright, turn this down again, is the lip liner colour. Then I'm going to try... This one again from Essence lip liner, it's called In The Nude, it was £1. This is quite similar. A little bit more peachy, but I think that is a pretty good dupe actually for just £1. I've got another one from Essence which is called Satin Mauve. Let's see what this one looks like. That is pretty similar. In fact, all three of those are very similar, aren't they? The Essence lip liner is just a little bit lighter than the Candy K one. The one nearest my fingers is Essence and then the other one is the Candy K lip liner. But I think they're pretty similar, just for one more for look. This one's from Rimmel and it's called Addiction. This is pretty similar actually. Look at that. So yeah, that's quite similar. But looking at, like, yeah, that's actually very similar. So yeah, so the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Line in Addiction. Okay, so I think I have covered everything. Um, the sun is starting to go in a bit of a funny position, so I think I should probably wrap this video up before the lighting goes very, very strange. I am now going to test this out. Um, I'm very impressed so far. I really like it. I think it's a really, really lovely colour. Obviously, it's not as common as what I thought it was going to be with the rest of my lip colours. And I'm going to try it out now for the rest of the day to see how long it lasts. And I will pop a blog post up. Keep an eye on my Twitter and Instagram and I'll put the link on when it's live. I'll test it out and see how well it lasts for all day. But I really like the colour. I really like the finish of it. Do I think it was worth getting it from America for £40? Not really. I think that's quite a lot of money. Um, but I think $29 if you're in the States and you can get it for that price, I think that's a pretty a bargain, to be honest with you. So yeah, so uh, let me know in the comments if you have any more questions at all about it. I think I've covered everything, but probably knowing me I've forgotten something. Also, you can tweet me. I'm always on Twitter and I'm usually quite good at replying to my tweets, probably better than replying to comments. Um, my link to my Twitter will be down below. Uh, just give me a tweet and I can answer any other questions that you may have. I also know that I think I saw on Instagram that Lily, as in Lily Melrose, has got Dolce K and True Brown K. And I think she's popping up a video on Sunday. So I'll link her channel down below because then you can see what the other two colours look like. But yes, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video.